to go. He said, I think he backs off of what Lee was saying as well. Hey, Brad, go ahead. Well, and it trails into uh, what I was going to share with you guys today as well. So, or leads into it. Funny how not that happens in this room. <laughs> uh, I tell you, what's still more funny is just everybody talking about everything. Ed's talking about the judging. and Or, or I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it was Ed that was talking about the judging and the energy drain. Um, I think it was... Uh, Beth or Amanda that said, do you, do you, how you do you? I couldn't remember who, uh, I was writing something down. Oh, Amanda. Was, yeah, Amanda. I thought it was Amanda. And do then you, how you do you, boo, is what it was. <laughs> yeah. And, and, I, and I remember as soon as Beth started talking, I was like, wait, was that Beth that said that? And so I'm like taking notes all the time on writing down the things you guys are saying. So here it's so wild that you guys have all been like there's an energy connection or something and we're all crossing paths because um, I'm going to actually challenge a saying because of a conversation that I had with a, a coach and mentor of mine, Rene Rodriguez. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He really studies the human brain and, and the human dynamics, sociology, psychology and all that. And yesterday's conversation in our uh, mastermind was around perception is reality. And he challenged that saying yesterday. In fact, it was an hour conversation around your perception is your reality. And he was saying that even though that's true, it's only true to you. And my perception is only true to me. And it's a one-sided view of the world. So when we say our perception is our reality, he was bringing to light that you need to pause out there for a second. When you when he was talking about a CIA guy that was on an interview somewhere, and for the CIA to find things out, they have to put their perceptions aside and go be in the perception of the person that they're they're investigating. And one of the questions that Renee brought up yesterday is, you know, it, during that interview, they said, what can civilians do to have a better life? And he said, they need to move away from that concept that perception is reality. And then he was talking about, you know, what is a black person's perception? What is a white person's perception? What is it? Ed's going to like this, Democrats' perception, what is a Republican's perception, what is a pregnant woman's perception, what is a person who just lost their job's perception, what is a person who just got the biggest promotion of their life perception. And I love how he turned around the conversation and said, if you want an advantage to winning the game, to really playing the game at the highest level, to do you, be you better, to uh, give grace, to not have that energy drain judging and, and discriminating and all that stuff. If we want an advantage of the game of life, it's to move away from that perception is reality and take advantage and win more by putting yourself into the thought process of what is their perception and what are they going through because they haven't heard this conversation you guys have. That's why we have the advantage. And then I, I, I'll leave it at this and see kind of, you know, what you guys are drumming up because I, I hopefully this is triggering some really cool conversation, even though we have about 15 minutes left and we can't ruin Victoria's track record for perfect endings because uh, she has ended on 730 every single day. But before we leave today, I did get a message from Tony, so I'll give you that, that as well. But it's you can always go back to your perception and it is your reality, but it's only your reality. So I'm just going to leave you with this, that challenging that saying to say, be aware of more than, than what's going on in your world. You can still go back to your world and you will process everything through your world still. But to win the game and to have a bigger advantage, you need to understand what their perception is is reality and where the advantage is, is they don't know this conversation that we just had, that you are aware that yours is different than theirs and you can win, win more that way. So that's where I'm going to put that one on the table at.